He was a famous trumpet man from all Chicago way. He had a bulky The 1940s, a decade that was dominated by the horrors and triumphs that accompanied the Second World War, also saw the Cardinals establish themselves as a national power. Let's do this. The 1942-43 season would be lost due to the war. It would be the last without Cardinals basketball. Swing music and pinup girls like Lauren Bacall, Betty Grable, Rita Hayworth, and Jane Russell kept the spirits of the soldiers soaring. A naval indoctrination program brought recruits to campus. Fans dubbed them the Sea Cards. Some say it saved basketball at U of L. The Slinky, it's slinky, it's slinky. The Frisbee and Velcro were developed. And we had our first chance to shake it like a Polaroid picture. Former head coach Jolly John Heldman focused on his work as the baseball coach and AD and hired the head coach at Valley High School, Bernard Peck Hickman, to lead the red and black. The legendary Hickman's first game, a 99-27 win over Georgetown. Playwrights like Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams and authors like Ernest Hemingway, Ann Rand, and George Orwell could be found on the bookshelves. The mid-40s saw extraordinary milestones for the program. The team moved games to the Jefferson County Armory. Mm, it looks just like the gardens. And as goaltending, the three-second violation, and unlimited substitutions were added to the rules of the game, the first radio broadcast of a Cardinals game occurred. At Louisville, Kentucky, a long-awaited rematch. The high -pressure defense. While minimum wage was 40 cents, reserved seats were 75 as the cards were competing for the entertainment dollar with cinema classics like Casablanca, It's a Wonderful Life, Citizen Kane, Pinocchio, and Bambi. Here's looking at you, kid. And ABC and NBC found their footing as TVs jitterbugged their way into more homes. Whoa, that's a funny looking box. The 1947-48 slate saw the Ville win five games in six days in Kansas City to close the season with an NAIB championship. As Truman followed FDR in the White House, the decade saw the completion of Mount Rushmore. John Dromo came to the Derby City from Cincinnati St. Xavier High School to become an assistant coach. Jackie Robinson struck a victory for equality when he broke the color barrier in baseball, signing with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. His final game in the minor leagues was against the Louisville Colonels. Jack Coleman, an All-American end for Frank Camp's Cardinals football team, would become the first of many 1,000-point scorers in school history, closing his career with 1,114 points. The 40s marked the beginning of an NCAA record 46 consecutive winning seasons, with the numbers of four players from the decade now honored in the rafters of the KFC Yum Center. They're good, 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 good. A pivotal 10-year period in Cardinals basketball. Me, that golden valley, this land was made